Hey everyone, today we are back with the next part of Bloodlust. Yes, I know a lot of you have been commenting, read more Bloodlust. Well, finally, the new chapter has finally come out. But can we just have a moment for the description real quick? Cape Thorn's been taken over. Ever wonder what life's like in a vampire town? So, apparently Cape Thorn has turned. So, we're in a vampire town. I know, spoiler alert, go watch the last video if you haven't already. But Sophie was turned into a vampire. So... My goodness, like, what happened since then? So we gotta find out. Also, I'm sorry for the background. Please ignore this box over here. I think it'll be in, like, the screen once I edit and everything. But anyway, that is a green screen. So we're gonna have more lit backgrounds, finally. So anyway, without further ado and me rambling, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. It helps me out a lot, so please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's start the drama. As fall turned to winter in Cape Thorn, everything changed. The town belonged to Ileana and Sebastian now. What? Ugh, Taurus, I hate the taste of sunscreen. Literally how? I thought I paid gems to, like, ruin their plan. So my money was for naught? Okay, I'm, I'm done with this game. Ugh. Except for the classmates we saved at Ileana and Sebastian's party. Okay, at least... Something happened, but does it even matter? By Thanksgiving, Cape Thorn's graduating class was nearly 100% vampire, so do the rest of y'all just hanging in there? Still human, at least for another day. Stay strong, Maeve. You too, Victoria. Okay, so, but why haven't we been eating yet? You think, are they just chill with us? But if they thought turning my classmates and brainwashing my friends would be enough to break me... Oh, care to join us? We're having so much fun. Okay, so I see we have some betrayals in the mist. Aren't we, Soph? So much fun. Sophie, your fangs. Toodles, Victoria. They were dead wrong about me. And he, oh, he just left with them. The town may be in their thrall. Vampires may be openly feeding on humans. But I'll take more than that to make Victoria Glass give up. I'm done with all four of them, to be quite honest. What's with all that's going on, Mason and I... About to get heat, then Sophie back. I don't care. We're taking it slow. Hey, you okay? Hey, sure. Yep. Yep. Oh, this is awkward. I didn't want to, like, go ahead and, like, be all romantic. Oh, the fact, like, one freaking thing switched everything. I can't believe this is real life. I can't believe you're still alive. Like, we sent you up there and then you vanished. It's like living in a ghost town. Or a vampire town, I guess. He's fallen so far so fast. I don't know why I'm surprised. Don't say that. He and Sophie just fell in with the wrong crowd. We'll get them back, won't we, Victoria? I, I don't know, to be quite honest. I'm done being nice to these people. I'm done. I don't know. Maybe it's not too late. He's always been stubborn once he's made up his mind. No, we've been friends my whole life. I won't let you give up. Okay, okay. We'll get them back. Why don't we gotta get them back? Why don't they sit there and have a realization? Why is it our issue? It's not our issue. It's their issue. Your issues are not my issues. I'd have to figure it out how. I don't really care, to be quite honest. I don't want to talk to him. I don't care about him anymore. Come on, Eth. You're hungry. Drop the good boy act. I'm fine. This town's got you twisted, babe. No one here has ever accepted you for who you really are. Not your friends. Not Victoria. Not even your own brother. Um. Um. I'm sorry. Excuse me? Remember that when you come out tonight? Um, first of all, we've done nothing but accept him. We've paid money to accept him. Sophie and I have been nothing but supportive, so this is my chance to get through to him. I always accepted you. Don't listen to them. I always accepted you, first off. Hmm, don't you know that? All I know is I'm tired of feeling wrong all the time. I never thought you were wrong. But Ileana and Sebastian under th understand things about me that no one else ever has ever could. Yeah, try me. I've been hiding my whole life. Even before I was turned, Dad hated me and Mason was embarrassed by me. Mason loves you. Please, I'm just another responsibility to him. I used to think it was better for me just to disappear, but Ileana and Sebastian are right. It's killing me to keep running, hiding, disappearing. Aren't we living in a vampire town now? I'm through living that way, so there's no middle ground? What I am is punishable by death. You tell me where the middle ground is. How can I make him see that we need to stick together to get through this? Appeal to his- I'm not appealing to anything of his anymore. Tough love all the way. I agree with him. I mean, I agree with him. He shouldn't have to hide things. You're completely right. We have to do something to fix this. There's no we anymore. I have to do this on my own. Don't you dare say goodbye, Heath. Don't you dare run away again. When I'm with them, I am allowed to be who I am. 
are y'all are y'all hearing this am, am i the only one like that's just kind of like seriously dude like you're pathetic <laughs> to be quite honest what i am heath wait you know what? I don't care. Stay inside tonight. Too dangerous for you. I'm gonna stay inside. What the heck? What's happening tonight? Another text. Emergency meeting my classroom. Okay, well, Mr. Bear needs us, so let's go talk to him. I've just discovered something huge. Most of history's mass turnings have occurred on the winter solstice. Mass turning. Please tell me that's not exactly what it sounds like. It is. <laughs> Afraid so vampires targeting an entire village, turning as many as they can. If they succeed, it'll be the end of Cape Thorn as we know it. So if we want to save our town, it all comes down to tonight. Whatever we need to do, I'm in. Same, I want my brother back. Then you need to be extremely careful. As I was saying, tonight's the winter solstice. The longest night of the year. Who are we doing that one? It's like that one movie. What was that one movie with the vampires? Was it zombies? Not 28 days later. The one where they had to stay in the dark, and I think they were in Alaska or something. I don't remember, but you're reminding me of that. Essentially, the vampire 4th of July. Something tells me we're not talking sparklers and bottle rockets. Elaine and Sebastian will make their final move on Cape Thorn tonight. Like, our, isn't it already turned at this point? And I think we all know what they mo want most of all. Uh, me? Then I better be ready, whatever. I'm tired of them. Then I better be ready. Cut. Cue the witching montage. Witching? This is serious. Tonight will be dangerous for humans and vampires alike. I get it, Mr. Bear. Now let me show you how we're going to win this thing. After school on the way to Aya's house. How many vampires are there? Fangs and fudge. <gasps> Ooh, everybody's staring at us. We need to run. They have everyone in their thrall. Once night falls, Main Street's going to be an all-you-can-drink buffet. Are they just under thrall or vampire? <gasps> Coach, look out, vampire! Well, we need to get to Aya's house now. This is a hot mess. Drink up. A mystery brew. This is how we're going to stop Ileana and Sebastian. It's not a mystery brew. It's tea. Um, an anti-vampire tea. I've been doing some research, okay? It's a bunch of herbs in it that vampires totally hate. So it'll keep you safe from Ileana and Sebastian's teen vamp army. I can't believe you did this. Come here. I also added a teeny tiny protection spell. Uh, what? I didn't know you knew how to do that. Oh my gosh, you amaze me. Aya, I'll drink your anti-vampire tea, but only if you promise to stay inside tonight. And Miss Vampire Independence Day, we can't risk losing you, especially now that we know you can do this. Then I'm at least going to be with you both in spirit, because that tea's not the only thing I made for you. Oh, they made us an outfit. Okay, this is awesome. And also, what is all this? Mason, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to help Victoria save as freaking many people as possible. With all this, I think I can manage that. Okay. I've been reading all of Mr. Bear's old books to get ideas, and I put these outfits together with everything you need to stay safe tonight. So you've both got stakes, crosses, what's in the vial, more of your magic tea. It's even stronger, and it glows in the presence of vampires. If you break it, the vamps will scatter. That way you don't have to hurt anyone you don't want to. You're incredible, Aya. With all this, we'll be able to save the town. Like you said, we can't lose anyone else. No. I'm sorry, I can't risk hurting someone innocent because I'm wielding weapons. I don't know how to use. You don't trust me? Of course I trust you. Watch. We're gonna drink the tea, but the other people, they can deal with it themselves. I'm tired of this. I think I'm gonna be sick. Um, here, sit down. Oh, she's... <laughs> Oopsies, what? It shouldn't have to this effect. It must be one of the herbs, let me think. Um, there's no time at sundown. <gasps> okay, so today's the big night. They're all gonna have a little disaster. Oh no, our girlie's out there. Please go home, it's not safe tonight. Well, <laughs> bye girl. Sebastian got Rachel. Chief Abbott, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad you're here. Of course, why doesn't... Uh, Mason do something. Can't he fight back? We need to get everyone back home. He's just standing here looking sad. Something terrible is about to happen. No, something wonderful. What? Oh no, even he's compelled it's over. It's not over. It's just bad. Tonight we become the new Cape Thorn. Tonight is our independence night. Okay, it's really bad. Counterpoint, it's delightful. Because now we can do this. Drop it, chief. Honestly, I really go for it. Stop that. Sure thing. Stop it, chief. I love playing with my food.
Okay, you have fun. You're not going to get away with this. But darling, we already have. Tonight we're mixing things up. We'll do the show first, then dinner. Speaking of, good evening, Mr. Wilder. I really don't care about him, to be quite honest with you. Am I supposed to? You're right on time, follow us. Doesn't he treat Heath and Mason awful? I have no sympathy. Dad, you shouldn't be here, it's dangerous. Then what are you doing out here, Heath? Then what are you doing? I don't take advice from my screw-up of a son. Thank God your mother didn't live to meet you. <gasps> she would have been so disappointed. What's disappointing is him. I can feel Heath again. You wanted to give him what he deserves for a long time, haven't you, darling? It'll feel so good to finally give in. Now go find somewhere private to work out your family issues. I honestly go after him, darling. Revenge will taste so sweet. You know, I've never felt he's so angry. The way Ileana and Sebastian were goading him. Is he, is he going to kill our dad? Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, to be quite honest, I don't care. But we're going to have to trust him to be strong. With practically the whole town out tonight, we need to stay here. There's too much at stake right now. You know what? They got to work out their own family issues. You're right. Look, I'm on an episode gym strike, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm not paying episodes gym prices anymore Right for right now. Like, I know even if people have been like, oh, like, we'll donate to you. And that's super sweet and everything. And I appreciate that with all my heart. Like, thank you so much. And eventually I will open up a donations box. But I, not for episodes gyms. Right now, at least. Until they get it together. Mom... What are you doing here? Mr. Bear said he'd look after you. I had to come, honey. They called. No, Mom, you have to go home. But everyone else is here, honey. Look, aren't those your friends by the fire? No. Come, Sophie. The first sacrifice is ready for you. <gasps> Aya? Ooh. Okay, so that is the end of the chapter. And honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I love the bad path, even though it's like completely the worst thing. I'm kind of low key getting my life from the drama that's happening. Like, instead of like all the good things happening, something, there's some drama happening. Like, I feel so bad for these poor people, but pshaw, it's fine. But so they're gonna try to turn Aya now. Heath is gone after his awful dad. I don't even know what's happening with them. To be quite honest, I really don't care. His, unless there is some redeeming quality to this dad. I mean, do I, does, does he deserve to like die? No, of course not. But I mean, he can do what he, that, that's his drama. That's not our problem. That's his problem. But Ilan and Sebastian, I want to take them down though. Like I'm sick of them. I really hate them. I really do. But one way or another, we're going to see what happens in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up once again if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching as always. Bye, everyone. I'm so